Welcome. Did you know you can control the pitch of a specific cassette player with the same control voltages you use to control your analog synths? There's a really cool bend of the GE variable speed cassette recorder by Chris Randall that gives you just that functionality. Unfortunately and predictably, it doesn't track with normal 1 volt per octave specifications of Eurorack. These new Max for Live MIDI and CV converters fix that and allow you to control the tape machine with a MIDI keyboard. Kind of like a monophonic Mellotron. I'll leave a link in the description to the videos that go over the two mods that are necessary to make this device work. There are two different versions of this device, a MIDI version and a CV version. I'm just going to go over the CV version because it's more accurate. The CV version converts 14 notes into the appropriate voltages to be sent through a DC coupled interface such as the uh, ES8 here. You can hardly see it. It's on the it's in the top left corner, but yeah, it's going straight into the input of the tape machine right here. You basically just choose the lowest note you want to use. In my case, I have C3 as my lowest note, and then the high note will be one octave plus one note above it. So here I have a simple sine wave with a small amplitude LFO on it that I recorded to this tape. And you can see as I play up and down a C scale, it will scale properly. Here you go. I, sh I should note here that somewhere in my terrible soldering and resoldering job, a grounding loop happened on my tape machine. It's not normally this buzzy. I have like an EQ kind of getting rid of some of it on the audio you're hearing, but I suspect it might be due to exposed wires near the circuit or the fact that I use tiny gauge wires because I didn't know better. I should definitely resolder it again, but that also makes me nervous at this point. Also, I don't know what I'm doing. I could have like burned a part of the circuit or something. I don't know. I'll turn on some effects real quick. So there are a couple of things to keep in mind to have the scaling work properly. The first thing you want to do is you want to turn the built-in variable speed control all the way up. It's right there on the cassette. You can't really see it, but they go over it in the other videos. Make sure that's all the way up because when it's all the way down, the CVN won't work at all. Also, if you haven't done the Gemini Horror cassette mod, the one that adds an extra potentiometer and a switch to turn it on and off, only the first seven notes or so will work. Once the mod is added and switched on, the rest of the range will open up as you lower the speed. I think as you lower the speed, it opens up more room for extra voltage or something like that. I have no idea. I'm not really good at that kind of thing. I just stick to the digital stuff. Also, um, once you turn the pot too low, because it can go really low, then the scaling is just not accurate at all. And there's one other thing to keep in mind. I found that if you use this external audio effects rack to send CV, it's more consistent than using the mixer out. Also, it makes you less likely to send the CV directly to your speakers, which you definitely don't want to do, um, especially through a DC coupled interface. If you are using that to connect to your speakers, just make sure that this output gain is set to zero dB. If it is off, maybe you could mess with that a tiny bit and it'll get more on. But at least for mine, zero dB works. Let me know in the comments if it works for your tape machine. You know, I don't know how finicky these are across different ones. Okay, so now here's some other sounds that I recorded to tape that are more interesting than just a sine wave, just as a demo of, you know, how this could possibly be used. One thing to note is that between recording the sine wave onto the tape and recording this, my actual tape recorder broke so this audio is just straight into the uh, internal mic of the tape machine so yeah i mean it's it sounds lo-fi but it's you know it's a little more finicky this is already a modded kind of slightly messed up from my modding tape machine okay uh here that is once i 
flip the tape over and rewind, that is. Sorry, I forgot about that. While I'm waiting for it to rewind, I'll just play the original sound that I recorded into it. Here's the sound on the CV controlled tape machine. So yeah, it just sounds super lo-fi and cool. I definitely like the way that sounds. really quick there's a re-trigger here that works just like a re-trigger on your normal uh, monophonic analog synth there's also a glide that I'll turn up that will uh, make the pitch glide between notes